tell you. I thought I could, but I can't. She drop it low. She drop it low. She put my coat. She put my coat. She talking to me. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Gabby, and today we are doing something fun. I thought for today's video, I would give you guys 10 last minute DIY Halloween costumes that you guys can make at home using the things that you have in your house. Ignore my inside out shirt, it's for a costume that you'll see later on in the video. So if you're interested, <laughs> so if you're interested in watching this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with friends. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Robinson27. Alright, let's get into this video. So first off, I have my pink wig and I made these cute little props. The crown is muscle mental. So now securing this, I'm really not sure how I would secure Ooh. this yet. You could probably use a bobby pin or you could stick the actual crown on the headband so that when you go out and about the crown doesn't fall off. My fabulous wand is a star that I cut out and attached to a paper make pen. Mm -hmm. Shout out to paper make. That's a wand, baby bop boo. Amazing. Shirt wise, I thrifted this shirt and wow. I thought it was perfect color to match what Wanda normally wears. I tucked it inside my skirt because normally, I think when, um, because Timmy, on Fairly Odd Parents, that's kind of how it looks. The shirt kind of looks a little shorter and the pants a little bit longer, which I don't know how I could tell that because they're normally floating in the air, but in a seated position, but doesn't matter. I did use leggings at first because I felt like I was more on brand to what Wanda typically wears, but I decided to switch to a skirt because I liked the way that looked better. Edna mode. And guess. This is probably my favorite costume that I have of this entire video. Let me tell you why. One, I haven't seen a lot of people do it. And two, you guys already know how I feel about this wig. Yes, <laughs> you just really have history at this point. So dress like Edna, um, I have my little red turtleneck that I'm wearing underneath this leather jacket. I have just some basic black leggings. And I decided to dress it up with these like horseback rider boots. And I know it'd probably be a little more on brand to use kind of like boots like these, like chunky heel boots, but I'm not going for on brand, darling. I'm going for what looks cute. Only thing that I didn't have for this outfit to make it complete is a pair of of like circle glasses. I think the outfit would be tied together 100% more if I had the circle glasses like Edna was wearing. This is a hobo suit, darling. You can't be seen in there. I won't allow it. Hello, Mayor. Good day, Ms. Bellum. How is every little thing? I have to speak to you guys like this for this whole costume. I am Miss antebellum or as everybody else and me knows her the mayor's assistant that never shows her face i think she shows it one episode but that's not the point this costume is very fuego very easy i just took a red dress the same color dress that miss antebellum had i didn't have a long sleeve dress but that's okay if you have a color that matches the same color dress you have you can easily just slip a long sleeve under or on top and that'll be the long sleeve dress what i also did is i took some red heels Ooh. i Decided to put on a pearl necklace because I thought it went with the look a little bit more. Lastly, the belt that I have on is a waist belt. I did not like the way it was laced up. I think that didn't suit the Miss Annabelle vibe. So I just flipped it around. And hair wise, okay girl, I ain't got no orange wig. Maybe later in a uh, uh, life, maybe next year, I will buy a orange wig like that. But I like the curly hair because that's what Miss Annabelle was wearing. And, and you know, it's got the little orange ends, so give me that. At least give me that kind of pass. Dooby dooby doo, where are you? We got some work to do now. I know that we have done Daphne before. We've seen Daphne before. But this is my take on Daphne. I've got my little red wig, which you guys saw in my 23rd birthday video. And I didn't have a green scarf, actually. So I'm wearing a green turtleneck, which I know you're like, Gabby, what are the odds that I have a green turtleneck? Well, if you do, you can use it underneath a dress. And I just so happen to have a purple dress that was skin tight, kind of like Daphne wears. Okay, so I, I see these feathers here. Mm. I, I see them. How could you not see them? I can't remove them. 
They're not going to be removed for the video. I couldn't even tuck them in for the video. So this is what we have. We're working with what we have. I know that some of the cartoons, you know, Daphne's kind of evolved a little bit. Sometimes she wear her leggings and sometimes she don't. And the boots, I felt like the little croc go-go boots kind of went better. Plus you can't tell her croc. Don't tell anybody they're croc. But I just felt like that kind of looked better with like the whole vibe of who Daphne is. Now the only thing that I think is missing from this costume is a headband. But if you have a purple t-shirt that matches this, you cut the sleeve off of the t-shirt and then you already have a headband and you can just slip it on your head. You know, repurpose your little t-shirt if you don't want it like this. So, so that's what we're doing. We're just gonna do women costumes. What do you mean? I just mean that we spent half the video doing women costumes. Like what about the guys, like don't the guys get some costumes too? Yeah, 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 I just, I just figured you only wanted a women's costume considering that you're a woman. No, 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 yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. But how would we do men costumes if they were women? That'll work. Flapjack, hey, Flapjack, come with me, we'll go and see a place called Candy Island. The Misadventures of Okay, hear me out, hear me out. This blonde hair, I feel it gives the flapjack-esque just because it's platinum blonde. But if I were to take this hat off, I look like a beetle. <laughs> I look like I should be part of Big Time Rush. <laughs> For this costume, I thought it was pretty easy. The only thing that I ended up buying was this tape that I have on me, which I literally just took the tape and now it looks kind of crooked, which is awkward. But I literally put two strips of tape across the entire shirt. I decided to put flare pants with it because if Flapjack was a girl, this is how I feel like he would dress. I added some croc boots versus some white Air Force Ones just because I feel like that kind of gave it more of a girlier vibe. Lastly, this is not an ascot. This is a sock that I tied around my neck. Wow. I used what I had in my house. And yes, I'm being choked right now at this moment as we speak, but I used what I had in my house, okay? Get out of here, bubble butt. <laughs> to me, it's kind of giving Tina, also kind of giving like Rosie the Riveter. Um, but this is supposed to be Finn from Finn and Jake, from Adventure Time, from Finn and Jake. What am I, an amateur? This is supposed to be Finn from Adventure Time. I tried to make this costume like girly, like if Finn was a girl, but I think that the shorts, given how short they were and given the cake that I have, and also like how, how tight the, like, the shirt was, like I think that also made it kind of scandalous. So if you're going for the Finn look for Adventure Time, Here's what I would do differently. I have a short sleeve blue shirt instead of a long sleeve shirt. I definitely wear some like biker short kind of pants. I would try to figure out the whole hat situation thing that he has going on. I, I don't really know how to recreate that. And I think we're good on the boots, the combat boots and the white socks. Like I think that was a good choice for me. Adding a backpack would definitely still be considered girly. I just only have a green purse and a black backpack. So make your choices, ladies and gentlemen. You've got options. You've got plenty of options, but that's just what I would do. He's a phantom. Okay, this Danny Phantom costume needs a little TLC, but I'm gonna tell you how you can make it better. So for this costume, I took a black jumpsuit that I already had, and that's why there's <laughs> little Adidas stripes running down it. If I had black tape, I would run it across the stripes so that we can't see those lines anymore. For this costume, I had these boots that I thought would kind of look similar to what Danny wears when he is fighting ghosts. Although you can definitely wear like white Air Force Ones, it'll be fine. I have this wig on again because it's short, Danny has short hair. If I wanted to make it better, I definitely would spray paint this hair, but that's not something that I have in my house, so. This is why we're blonde. Danny is blonde in this video. Another thing that I would add is some gloves if I had them. I did print this out myself. Uh, it has been falling off this entire time. So I would probably use a safety pin or some sort of like 
stickier adhesives. I haven't seen a lot of people do Danny Phantom for Halloween, so I'm hoping that you guys take Danny Phantom and make the costume better than what I did. You say you watch my videos, but you're not subscribed. But that's none of my business. This is another one of my favorite costumes that I put together for this year. This is definitely a good last minute kind of idea. We've seen numerous memes about Kermit the Frog. And I know people don't, you know, have sassy wigs lying around the house. But if you do, this one would suit the vibe. It just makes me feel shady. And that's the vibe we want because Kermit is a little shady. I went for an all green look, like an all olive green look. So all I did was take a dress that I bought from Boohoo and put a green turtleneck top on top of it. You can print the Lipton Tea logo out. And I know this is last minute, so maybe you don't have time to go buy a tea bag. Maybe printing a tea bag out is all you have time for. And that's all right. Wow. For this Spongebob costume, I decided to take a white button-down shirt and pair it with a black belt along with some brown biker shorts and then I have my combat boots and some white calf socks. I know that my costume right now is kind of giving me Boy Scout, but it's okay. It's okay. We're not going to talk about it. You know, I, I love Spongebob. I wanted to do him justice and I feel like uh, I could have done better, but say it with me. This is what we had. Come on, think, 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 brain blast! Listen, if you have nothing else, this is the easiest costume that you can do. Sis, all I did was take a logo, print it out, and stick it on a inside out shirt. Put on some Air Force Ones and some jeans. That was it. I thought to make it girlier, I would try using a skirt. Jimmy Neutron, you know, he got that little chocolate chip dot head. Yeah. So I was thinking, you know, I can't really do that to my hair, nor would I like to do that. So I thought half of half down would be kind of meeting in the middle. I would love to put it in a ponytail, but this wig doesn't, doesn't do that. No, it does not compute. We cannot do that. So if you plan on doing Jimmy Neutron as a costume, you should put your hair in a ponytail and do like a skirt or some jeans and that would definitely help switch it up wow that's it that is the easiest costume i can't give you anything else i can't give you anything easier okay make it happen all right guys that was the end of my last minute diy halloween costumes i hope you guys really took some inspiration from this video and saw that you don't need to go out and buy a bunch of things to make cool halloween costumes thank you guys so much for watching and please make sure to like comment subscribe and share this video with your friend and make sure you follow me on instagram and tiktok at gabyrox27 happy halloween guys bye Miss Annabella goes boom. I guess we're done.